Welcome everyone to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I am Carl Lewis. Today we'll be starting a session on basic navigation in Business One, and our special guest presenter is Naz Aguirre from our office in Vancouver, Canada. So Naz, I think I've made you presenter already. I'm going to be quiet now and turn today's session over to you. Welcome as our guest presenter this Wednesday. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, in this presentation. I'm going to be presenting SAP Business One, and the contents of my presentation is going to be about what is Business One, why do we need it, the integration process that is available in Business One, and how to get started with Business One. So let's ask the magic question, why would you be wanting to use SAP Business One? Well, if you are a managing director of a small company and want to implement a new software solution to make your business process more efficient, and if you want to learn more about SAP Business One and how you can use it effectively to run your business processes. In this unit, you will find that we are going to be, um, I will be defining what SAP Business One is. Hopefully we will learn advantages of integration in SAP Business One, understand the document structure in SAP Business One, create and change a document. So we'll start off with our first topic, which is what is Business One? So this is the system configuration, and in Business One, it's a management solution designed for small and medium-sized companies. Business One gives you instant access to real-time information through one single system. The application is divided into a number of modules, each covering a different business function. Business One has a user-friendly interface that serves as your central ERP access point with, sta with standard interfaces to internal and external data sources, handheld computers, and other analysis tools. So as you can see in the picture here, there's the master data, there's purchasing, there's inbound logistics, warehouse management, production, outbound logistics, marketing and sales, financial controlling, and service. 